Hey everyone, it's Ben at Rust Sound. Today's topic is wiring termination. If you're working with Cat5e, you're going to be working typically with either A or B configuration. A lot of our older Rust Sound products made heavy use of T568A due to a couple of reasons. Um, I think a lot of that has to do with US government requiring T560A for standard wiring. Um, a lot of our older products used 110 punch down, so that would require the other end to be T568A. Nowadays, it's not as common that you might run into a need for that, especially if you're not doing federal work. I'm not even sure if that's still a requirement. But if you're using RJ45 ends and the products you're connecting everything to and from is using RJ45 ports, generally speaking, as long as both ends are the same, you're going to be fine. So if you're working with a newer generation, MCA series and you want to connect up some keypads to it and your keypad and the back of the MCA are using those RJ45 ports You're fine to use B on both ends Just keep that in mind though if you are working with a legacy product or take over a job Especially so if the legacy product was using 110 punch down termination It will require that your other end be terminated to T568A So if you do run into a scenario like this where you have one end A and one end B you're going to find out pretty quick that it's not working because your keypad's not going to be able to communicate. A few differences in the pin configuration makes all the difference in the world when, when we're sending data over that line. So, just to show you here, you may or may not already be familiar with this, but we've got two termination ends here. The one on the left is A configured, the one on the right is B configured. A configuration here on the left, going left to right, and when you're running these pins left to right, the pin is facing away from you. So that's always where you get your focus point on left to right. So pin number one going to pin number eight left to right with A termination is white green, green, white orange, blue, white blue, orange, white brown, and finally brown. Whereas on a B termination, You've got a similar setup, but a few pins are switched around on us here. So once again, going left to right through pins one through eight, this is on a B configuration. This is white, orange, orange, white, green, blue, white, blue, green, white, brown, and finally brown. So you can see they're similar, but a few pins swapped around, again, makes all the difference in the world. So keep that in mind when you're working with any of our products that are using Cat5e wiring. And that'll just save you a lot of headache in the future. If you need any advice or, or walkthrough of how to do a wire termination, definitely um, do a search online. There's very many helpful videos on that. I'll give you just a quick run through here. Definitely not as professional and as in-depth as you will likely find elsewhere, but we'll show you the basics here. So you're going to need to start with clipping off the end of your Cat5e wire so you have your exposed wires. And you'll also need the proper tooling. You're probably going to need some wire snippers of some kind. Termination tool. And some RJ45 tips there. So you're going to start by ordering these wires. And this isn't the cleanest termination, so I apologize for that in advance. If you're a little antle about this and you're looking at this at the end of it and it's not looking as pretty as it could be. This is just for demonstration purposes only. So we're going to start by just wiring these or not wiring them, but just manipulating the wire ends in a, in a way that we can get everything lined up in the right termination. I'm just going to take this off camera while I do it. Alright, so I like to just spread them out like this, just in order left to right, so that we have a proper order with our positioning here. Let's make sure that's right. We've got going left to right, white, green, green, then we have white, orange, then we have blue, followed by white, blue, followed by orange, white, brown, and brown. All right, so that's the proper order, pins 1 through 8 for T568A. Let's uh, grab our pin here, RJ45. Now you want to start by, or at least what I do, you might have a preferred method for this, but I just start by flattening them out, lining them up all side by side. It's definitely not a pretty termination. The, if you really want to be a uh, professional with this, you want these all to be at the same level. This is definitely a very uh, quickly whipped up one here. 
So then you're going to insert those into your RJ45. You want to make sure that each of your wires goes through the appropriate port. Get it in there nice and tight. Once again, verify that it's still looking good. Going left to right, we have white, green, green. Looks like white, orange, and blue. And then that's, uh, should be white, blue, I believe it is. And then orange, followed by white, brown, and brown. So I need to get a closer look just to double check that. But that looks good from what I'm looking at here. And once we have that on there, take our termination tool. Shove that guy right in there. Get it in there and clamp it down nice and tight. Yeah. Make sure that sucker's tight. You don't want that coming out. So there you go. That's not going anywhere. And we now have a wire configured on both ends for T568A. This is a really good thing that you should probably take in mind too. You're probably already familiar with this wiring termination anyways if you're working with audio products or of course if you're an electrician you know all about this. But it's a good idea to keep a few of these components with you just in case if you go out on site and you're trying to troubleshoot a problem with keypads specifically um, or anything like our, our RNET connection between multiple RNET devices. It's always good to have a cable that you've terminated yourself that you know is good because it lets you verify that it's not a wiring issue and it's indeed a, some kind of product failure. If you run into that, we can definitely help you get the product repaired or replaced based on what it is. So I hope that video served as a useful bit of information for anyone watching this. And everyone stay safe. Take care.